Hello students, welcome back to the biology class. So in the last class, we did the topic of CAM pathway along with the photorespiration. We learned that C3 cycle is common to all photosynthesizing plants. So whether they are C3 plants or C4 plants or plants with CAM pathway, all of them will have one common photosynthetic dark reaction and that is the C3 cycle or the Kelvin cycle discovered by Kelvin Melvin. So we learned in the last class that CAM pathway means Carasolucian acid metabolism and this pathway was first of all discovered in or documented in Carasolaceae family that's why it is called as Carasolucian acid metabolism. So from the name itself you can make out that uh, the scientists reported that in this family there is acid synthesized and which is metabolized later uh, that's why they have a different way of performing photosynthesis. Uh, this Mechanism is found as an adaptative feature in succulent xerophytic plants and this belongs to basically the families of Cactaceae, Euphorbiaceae, Carasulaceae and we learned that they these plants perform scotopic movement of their stomata that means their stomata open at night time and close during the daytime. This helps the plant to check the rate of transpiration because if the stomata open during daytime in dry conditions then precious molecules of water would be lost by transpiration because of the heat of the day. That's why these plants, they open their stomata during the cool time and that is at the night time and close during the daytime. We learned that these plants, they accept carbon dioxide during night time and they then later on they will form sugars from this carbon dioxide during the daytime. So uh, the common thing between C4 plants uh, the common thing between C4 plants and CAM pathway plants is that they both perform C4 pathway but the difference is in the case of the C4 plants the C4 pathway involves two different type of cells that is the mesophyll cells and the bundle sheet cells but in the case of the CAM plants that these plants perform the pathway in the same cell that means at the night time in the same cell uh, malic acid is synthesized that's why it is called as carasolucian acid metabolism and at, and during the daytime when stomata are closed this acid will liberate carbon dioxide and convert into pyruvic acid so that means four carbon compound changing into three carbon compound by the loss of carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide during daytime enters into c3 cycle uh, that's why during daytime they synthesize sugar and at the night time they are accepting carbon dioxide from their surroundings. We even learned <coughs> the concept of photorespiration. It is also called as, we learned it is also called as PCO cycle, uh, also called as C2 cycle because the compound formed in this concept is a two carbon containing compound. Uh, this process we learned is a wasteful process and it occurs only in the C3 plants and uh, during this process no ATP is synthesized, no NADPH is synthesized but there will be use of ATP so it's a wasteful process and then there will be loss of carbon dioxide from mitochondria. Uh, this concept involves three organelles in a particular sequence and that is chloroplast and then peroxisomes and finally the mitochondria. It's a cyclic pathway please remember and uh, this photorespiration we learned in the last class uh, is motivated in a condition when there is higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere with the aging of the leaf, uh, higher temperature and intense sunlight. So these, these conditions promote photorespiration in the plant. So uh, how it is different we learned in the last class that uh, dark, dark respiration is a normal respiration and photorespiration is the respiration that means it is the process in which three organelles are involved and there is loss of carbon dioxide during the daytime by photosynthetic cells that's why it is called as photorespiration. So in this process no sugars are formed and there is carbon dioxide lost with the use of ATP. Uh, we also understood that C4 plants do not show C2 cycle. Reason is in mesophyll cells, uh, the first acceptor of the carbon dioxide is uh, not Rubisco enzyme, but it is the pepcase or pepco enzyme. So PEP is involved in this process uh, in the C4 pathway. That's why C4 plants 
though their mesophyll cells are in contact with the stomata they do not perform c2 cycle reason mesophyll cells do not carry rubisco but they carry pepcase and they do not carry rubp they carry pep that's why and pep and uh, pep case these enzymes do not have any affinity or attraction towards the oxygen so they never pick up oxygen even if the concentration of oxygen is high or even if the concentration of carbon dioxide is lower they always pick up carbon dioxide so they never perform c2 cycle and uh, we also learned that c4 plants uh, they have a mechanism to increase the concentration uh, of carbon dioxide at the site of rubisco enzyme and that means the bundle sheet cells we did the cycle also in the last class regarding the c2 cycle we learned it uh, it starts with the chloroplast followed by peroxisomes and mitochondria we learned that the rubp picks up oxygen to give rise to a three carbon compound and a two carbon compound namely phospho uh, pga and phosphoglycolic acid so pga enters into c3 cycle but this phosphoglycolic acid loses the phosphate group and as glycolic acid transported to the peroxisome where it undergoes oxidation to give rise to glyoxalic acid uh, which later changes by transamination into glycine and two molecules of glycine when they enter into mitochondria they give rise to serine amino acid these are amino acids and there is loss of ammonia loss of carbon dioxide and then there is oxidation going on now the serine enters back into the peroxisomes and changes into hydrox hydroxyl uh, hydroxy pyruvic acid and then changes into glyceric acid which finally enters chloroplast and inside the chloroplast this glyceric acid changes into phospho uh, phosphoglyceric uh, phosphoglyceric acid with the loss with the use of atp that's why there is this is a wasteful process and finally this changes into pga and this is the wasteful process the whole time the cell was involved into so many activities but finally these activities were of no use so it's a wasteful process